Hello and welcome back. So in the last video you saw how you can attach a fragment to an activity. In this video I want to introduce you to the fragment life cycle and uh, you know we'll compare the activity life cycle with the fragment life cycle. Now I have discussed the activity life cycle in one of my earlier videos. So I'll share a link for the same in this video also. But I'll go ahead and discuss the both the life cycles and uh, show you how it works. So let's get started. So if you remember an activity life cycle started when you I mean when the activities constructor gets called initially actually when your app launches then the activity constructor whichever activity the app is supposed to load the constructor gets uh, called basically and then the on create method is called and the on create method is responsible for the setup of the activity okay like which resource which layout and stuff like that so similarly in a fragment corresponding to the on create method of the activity you have a set of methods okay the first one is the on attach now on attach is used is basically called when the fragment gets attached to the activity okay then you have the on create which does the setup like which layout is supposed to be called that is the purpose of the on create then you have on create view and on activity created uh, which are pre pretty much you know self explanatory so once your activity gets created the on activity created method is called now moving on so basically in activity after on create it goes to on start method right similarly in fragment also you have once the fragment is set up the on start method is called okay after that the on resume similar to the activity the on resume method is there the on pause method is there the on stop method is there now all these methods are basically are responsible for for like different stages of the fragment so you can call you can override these methods depending on the situation like suppose your your app is visible or invisible or you know it's um, some other app is shadowing it so all these methods are kind of helpful during those scenarios you don't need to call these always because uh, uh, most of the time you'll be dealing with just the on create method and possibly the on start method so but you should have an idea about the life cycle methods so after the resume pause and stop method when the activity finally gets destroyed then your fragment is also destroyed and there are a set of methods for that also like there is a on destroy view method there is a on destroy and there is a on detach method also so if you see the fragment life cycle is pretty much similar to the activity life cycle there are five additional methods which are there um, most of the time like i said you you will be using only a couple of methods maybe like the on create the on start and possibly you know the the on resume method uh, when your activity or when your app for that matter becomes visible or invisible but this is what an activity and a fragment life cycle methods looks like um, you can spend some time um, you know go through this uh, you can refer to the android documentation also and uh, i hope this gives you an idea about the fragment life cycle because it's a very important component of any app using a fragment so in the coming videos we'll discuss more about the fragments until then like explore and take care bye